We're up to 1,662 cards. One with. And today we're playing Big Shaman, except with bad cards. So we've won with hardly any Shaman cards. If we look at the spreadsheet, we've won with almost no Shaman cards. Like, we've won with the Knights of the Frozen Throne cards, but there's, like, very few otherwise. So it's time to change that. And we're going to play Big Shaman, and we're going to take out the spells that aren't core every time, and the minions that aren't core until we get a bunch of wins with all three of these decks. This one I'm going to have to craft Trog and Festa Root for, and that one will be really hard to win with. The first two are both moderately the same power level. I like kind of spread out the good minions. This one is all Wind Fury minions. And then Wind Fury Whirlwind Tempest, which I think is hilarious. Just all the Wind Fury minions. <laughs> and then this one has the nutty Undasta into Glug technology, which will hopefully make up for the lack of no other minions that do anything. But we'll see. And then this one's just a pile of garbage. We're running out of spells to play in it. And we're running out of minions to play in general. These two are like terrible. Fest Root and Trogaron, terrible. Faces Behemoth is terrible. Maybe we get lucky. <laughs> we are going to stream until we can get a win with those decks. What's a go? Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't think that's the right deck. Can we afford to keep Eureka? Probably not. We just have to high roll Muckmore for Gavel and Ancestor's Call. That's kind of the core of this deck. Just even. Yeah. I imagine this is going to be hard to beat. But I don't know for sure. Hmm. I mean, I can like never play these cards, so I guess we take the lava burst. I also have no dredge, so this is basically just to discover a random spell. So tough, tough luck. You can uh, unhide my rank. Hmm, I think we do hero power. Hero power matters here. We might trade into it. This is actually looking really good. He passed his turn two, which is usually the most powerful turn for that deck. So we're pretty excited about that. He could be like a Reno. No, he just didn't play this on turn two. Even though he had it. Wait, he had it. Am I crazy? Ooh, here we just do nothing, so we can coin out Muckmore for next turn, I think. Yeah. Coin out Muckmore for it. Actually, doesn't do a whole lot, to be honest. It's a 4 4 of a win for a minion. But if we hit Drakkor, we get a nice tempo swing. If we hit Walking Fountain, we get a mini tempo swing and heal a lot. Oof. No. I guess we. Actually, no, Walking Fun's kind of bad. Oh, and we can't hit that now. Let's see what we get. This might actually be bad here. It's probably better to make two threes. Yeah, because we just kill these. Big whoop. We have a storm. So this way we open up board space for him to play more stuff that dies to storm, hopefully. And hopefully not four fives and three fours that don't die to lightning storm. Perfect, that dies to Lightning Storm. He'll never make this trade, but if he doesn't trade at all, I can hit 1-3 and then trade there, and then Lightning Storm. Should be great. <clears throat> also, if he doesn't trade, we have Ancestral Spirit, which is nutty. That would actually win us the game. I think he has to trade it. Yeah. 
I need him to play another two drop. He's got two mana. What are we doing? Not that two drop. Oh, it's not. It's not infused. Perfect. Perfect two drop. We could try to devolving the three four. None of it can really backfire. What's a better use for devolving missiles? That's a pretty clean use for devolving missiles. And then we can draw next turn. Hit this. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Wow, you hit the same thing three times. That's impressive. Maybe we just do this now. Astounding. Maybe he'll value trade. Um. Yeesh. Uh, it's tough. If I overload on six instead of five, then I have a four mana turn after. Uh, it's so bad. We're going to try to hold off. No Mock Morpher. It's a bummer. We're going to try to hold off on the storm. Try to bait this attack. Maybe get this and this and just not have a turn. I don't know. Uh, okay. Let's go next. Punished for the greed. Anti-magic shell randomly discovered. I don't know if I ever... He just like isn't playing stuff on the board. So I don't know if I would have even won if I didn't greet it, but... I certainly had time if I didn't greet it. That was probably dumb. I just assume I have such limited options. At like any point. I don't think this is the nutty Seeker Mage farmer that our decks normally are. Mage is probably a very bad matchup. Yeah. Yeah, this is probably a loss. Not rigged. There's something to be said about devolving that or try to proc counter spell so we can't play another one in a 6-6. Six, six. But cuz now my farsight is just going to get eaten. So that might be okay. Huh. Wow, that might be the actual worst card in my entire deck to hit with that. Is this better than hitting a one drop? I think that's the worst thing I could have hit with that. I'd rather have this hit Devolving Missiles as a counter spell proc. That's so bad. <laughs> Your signature oh my gosh, required. yeah. A big lose. I'm trying to devolve. But it's not going to do very much. I didn't even hit it. Brutal, dude. Maybe I should have just made two threes there. Problem is, if I don't drop both Muck Morphers, they're like useless. So I just draw like 8, 9, and then they're dead. Next turn I can waste 5 mana by playing this if I want. That's kind of fun. I probably have to. Should have saved that. Ruins? At least it was ruins and not objection. Yeah, he gets to a fair game though. I, I can't do anything. I don't think this deck is any chance into uh, Seeker Mage. 
Ancestor's Call could maybe get me there, but I haven't seen it yet. It's in hiding. I don't want to keep that. I want to get a better card. That is better. If we get Mike Morpher, we can play it first and cheat it out with Gavel. Otherwise, Coin Ancestor's Call is probably the move. Well. Yeah, we got it anyway. I'm going to kill that. Eureka for the other one? Or Ancestral Spirit for the turn after? It doesn't die. That's a really tough choice. It might be Copium to even get to turn 6 against this deck. Weapon could do work, though. Hmm. If I pull this and it lives, I think I could Ancestral Spirit it, like, unironically. Gotta get lucky to win, right? Gotta get a little lucky to win. It's worth a shot. Hopefully you play something with 2 health. So I can stay relatively passable. That not gonna cut it. Um, I think we'll hold the swing. We got coin into one of these next turn, and we can probably whack something then. With the plus attack, it's less likely that stuff lives. Well, I can do that attack, but uh, he's cheating out too much stuff now. I mean, I heal some of the time. There's no reason not to call first, unless I'm worried about a taunt, but these can just go into the taunt. Five, four, huh? Let's do this. If he trades, we're really sad we took Ancestral Spirit. I guess when he trades, yeah. Eureka would have been a much better card. Hopefully we draw something. That's another reason why. Ooh, he could go face now because he doesn't want to... Oh, he always trades. What am I talking about? It's lifesteal. Um, simply high roll the scroll since he's out of cards. It's simple. Farsight. Eh, yeah, that's probably better. <gasps> Dude, we can make that one mana. That's so gross. <laughs> Uh, everything in our deck has a Wind Fury. Oh, we could hit Tempest, though. If we hit Tempest and we whack... I mean, we can just take the damage. It's fine. This is nutty. Yeah, we hit Tempest. That sucks. 4-4, four, four, do nothing. It's still stats in play. But man, does that sting. Maybe I only want one of those in my deck. <laughs> no, don't discover stuff. That's cheating. I mean, I have so much life. As long as I can kind of stay even for a little bit, we should be fine. But every card he has that makes another one, we get a little bit further behind. If he doesn't play anything in Hero Powers and then doesn't hit Taunt, we have this really clean trade. Gross. There goes our really clean trade. Any Muckmore for Enjoyers? Ancestors Call Enjoyer? Give a minion plus three plus three and freeze it. Heal for twelve or dredge, which I already have. Um, could trade make it huge. It doesn't really do anything. Probably just take the healing so we have time to vibe. Oh wait, I dredge. I do have dredge in this deck. Do I take the scroll though, or do I just take gavel? <laughs> I'm probably supposed to take Eureka, but this is way more fun. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Fatality? 
I have quite the decision here. Do I take the scroll for value? I'm against Murloc Shaman. He's kind of out of cards, so this is kind of funny. But Eureka makes my Yalak here next turn. <laughs> I think I'm going to try to win with random spells. Unironically. Ancestral Spiriting, that's pretty sucky, but it makes a 6-6 six -six when it comes back, which is a lot of tempo, and I kind of need it. I can't believe I just took scroll, dude. I'm gonna be so sad if I lose because of that. No taunt, please. Yeah, it was good to do. It was due for a taunt. Dude, he I'm actually like chilling though. As long as these don't stick around too long and get like the seven mana card all over me. Eureka here would have uh been kinda litty. Let's see what we got. What's the jackpot? Dude, unironically, pretty good. Shot card. Oh, wow. Lightning Storm here is probably as good as it's ever going to get. Let's start with Ancestor Blazing Invocation. Whoa, that's so good. <clears throat> I could also take this, but I don't think it matters. I can overload. I have no cards. Pose and Healer is also kind of funny, but we're trading. I think we just take Ibis. Is this real diamond rank? It is. This is diamond rank. I'm diamond five. In hindsight, no, we, we froze before we were we drew the, the storm, right? So it's fine. If I knew I was going to draw a storm, I obviously would froze that one. But Dude, it's Gorlock. That's so gross. No. No, my chances of winning have gone down a cliff. They've gone down a cliff. Maybe we top deck Muck Morpher and it hits Drakuru and we win the game on the spot. Wouldn't that be sick? All right, well, we have the mana to start playing minions now, so this is sick. Oh, we have Muck Morpher, dude. It's nuts. All right, we gotta hang in there. We're gonna get the job done. We're gonna we're gonna get the nutty tempo swing and win this game, I believe. I don't have a choice but to believe. Next turn we got Muck Morpher and Healing Wing or Reincarnate. Please no big huge stal stats. No health. No no spells. These are Murlocs, right? So no spells. Okay. It's kind of like a spell, man. I'm not supposed to do that. I think we're fine. As long as we don't top deck... I want to top deck Tempest, honestly. This is Tempest. I'm going to be really annoyed. No! That's my best minion, man. Maybe I just... Draw Alakir. Alakir gets to hit four times. So we can whack there. We can whack there. And we can whack there. And we can whack here. That's a pretty big board swing. And then we have this after. That's so much less fun. But it's so good. Obey my command. Should do this first. Why? Well, I'm so dumb. No, I shouldn't do that first. Then I don't get Mega Wind Fury. Alright, well. The problem is the attack. I was trying to save health. Maybe this is better. If I get Mega Wind Fury, I take four and I die on the third hit. This might actually be better. No life tap, please. Who am I kidding? He insta life taps here? Yeah, of course he does. I, I could probably be life tap. I mean, I think these just end it, right? <clears throat> these just, this just ends it, surely. <laughs> what is that, dude? That's so funny. All right. Um, I don't actually know what we do here. Do we Ivis? Maybe we I was. This is gonna hit Whirling Tempest and do nothing. Which is gonna really suck. We know that's a Murloc though. Mm. Yeah, let's do it. Walking fountain, please. One time lucky. 
dude. This is not a good day to be playing Hearthstone. I've gotten unlucky every roll I've had all day. I think it's fine. It's probably fine. It's probably fine, right? We probably still win. He never high rolls me now because we took a turn off. Oh, killing these, man. Instead, I get a 4-4 four four that does nothing. Well, he doesn't kill it. It does a lot. Because then this gets to go ham. Look at this card, by the way. This card's so sick. Mm. Don't like that. Oh, dude, these could be dead. 50% of the time, those are dead. But instead, I get scammed. Scammed, I tell you. Scammed. Uh, now I just do it, right? I got a 2-3 and a 3-2 back, and he's got that left is all. <gasps> Eureka. I could get Ivis, though. Maybe I have to Ivis this turn. Kill the 5-4. Take a risky, risky business turn off. Yeah, well, I was this turn. Eureka plus one of these two next turn is so clean. Hopefully we don't die for this. I'm getting a so high rolled, I, I really could die here. But, like, I have to believe this is enough most times. It's a 13-13. And in 15 turns, he dies to tapping. It's great. Instead of dying five turns ago when he rolled. That's in his... What is going on? Is this real? Is this real life? What's happening to me right now? Okay. Well, now we just own him, right? Dude! <laughs> of course! Of course it hits that. Surely we don't get punished. That's still a Murloc. Question is, is it... If it was Toxfin, he would have done it last turn, right? Yeah, what's up, Trestus? It is a walking fountain deck, but I'm incapable of hitting it. Except for there. I keep getting this guy, which is so bad. Do I go face? Do I kill a 4-4? Instead of lethal, I hope he doesn't high roll me. He can't high roll me every turn, right? Although last turn, I got a good turn, so maybe I'm due for death. Dude. Why are you the way that you are? Imagine using that drab ugly Draku skin. I think it's the only version I own. It's also going to be so sick of this 6 6 lives and he makes 4 minions. Alright, this worked out alright, alright. He got a buff, which sucks, but he like didn't tempo the minions first, so like he's just probably screwed. He does get another 3 4 though, which is annoying. If that sixth one lives, we get to uh, reincarnate it next turn. <laughs> uh, we actually won. Second game with this. Let's go. Crappy Big Shaman is nuts. Oh, it's third game, I guess. Wind Fury Big Shaman, the nuts, dude. Probably only want one Whirlwind Tempest, though, in this deck. Just randomly generate Iwis off of a randomly generated Asharan Scroll... Uh, just a Sharn scroll, and then get the second half of it, and then randomly generate Iwis and win the game that way. It's so good. Um, yeah. Let's just... Let's just send him off. Just in style. Shaboom! Shabang! Shabang! <laughs> ah, it's glorious. That's yeah, so good. Jakku, go hard, dude. Oh my. Let's go. That's sick. That's nuts. So now we've won with all these cards, which is fun. Got these knocked off the challenge. That's, uh... 
A fair amount of shaman cards. That's 16 shaman cards, I think, that we win with. Next deck, our minions... Our spells get... I don't know that they get worse. They're just different. Um, But our minions definitely get less good. We've got the Nutty Undasta into Glug Technology. I really hope we hit that at least once. The other minions are pretty bad. This one I think will take longer than two tries. This should take longer than two tries. Not your father's big shaman. It's a... Uh, it's a sophisticated big shaman. Priest? Don't know that it really matters what my opponent's playing, to be honest. I just look for Ancestress Call, Muck Morpher, and Gavel. Ancestors calling Glug. Kind of neat. Ancestors calling Blackwing. Slightly less neat, but still neat. Is he Big Priest? He has a minion in hand. This is just losing the game, but I always have to try. It's my win con, right? He's not aggro. So he's either like Inner Fire or Big Priest. And, uh. Can't say I'd be terribly happy. Gotta remember, this takes up four board spaces. But I can hear it power twice. Big Shami is Big Priest with extra steps. It's also a better deck, but in the version we are playing it, it's a worse deck with extra steps, yeah. This pile of garbage is real bad. But uh, normal Big Shaman is like a full tier above Big Priest, probably. It's a good thing nobody plays it, because it's really stupid. <laughs> Peak instructed Hearthstone like early 2017. I used to play this big shaman I watched Asmodai play that used White Eyes and Madame Goya. I don't know if that was the same kind of big shaman or if it was just like shaman back then, but if it, I guess I did have Ancestral's Call. This call was like a trillion years old. Well, I do kill it, but now I can resurrect it, which is a problem. I think we're going to lose this one, guys. Also, what's up, Azrael? Hope you're doing good. If he plays the four mana resurrect, I think I just... Like, dip out. I don't know. <laughs> Discharge, Earth Elementals, that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah, like, it's like Big Shaman, but it's like Ancestral... It's like the... He uses the cards we had last game where the Ancestral Spirits and the Reincarnate. So you make lots of big stuff. And back then, those were the good stuff that were big. Hey, he didn't resurrect it, which is neat. So, we're actually happy we hit Ancestral's Call in this case, because he let us get our Blackwing into his face. No, you have that in your hand? Well, we're really sad. Um, we're not happy at all. He's got what in his deck? Huh? You've got what in your deck? I wanted to attack the 5-5 five five Gahoon he summoned and then kill the 8-8 eight eight Gahoon, but I guess I have to do that. Ancestral Spirits got us into this ancestral spirits gets us out of it the ancestors call this 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 ends it surely he dies surely this kills him this board is unstoppable he never clears this board never clears this board literally never whoa buddy what is that random wave of apathy bro he's high roll. Yo, this guy's got the perfect hand. Real? Oh, he's playing bad cards too, but it just doesn't matter. This would have to hit like... I don't even know. That's kind of nice, but... It doesn't actually do enough. Because that's going to eat my minion. Dude, if you didn't have the nuttiness, I actually maybe had a chance here. This is funny. No, he's just, he's got two cards and he's got the perfect cards. That's a bummer. He had three resurrects in his hand and a minion. 
No minion and he farts around for a while. I might actually kill him with a 9-9, but... We knew it was going to happen, right? They always have a minion in their hand. And it makes sense they had a minion in their hand because they had, a, uh, By the looks of it, like, six in their deck. <laughs> That's so funny. Hey, man, I'm playing Big Shaman with bad cards, so salute to him for playing Big Priest with good bad cards, I guess, right? Bad card Big Shaman versus bad card Big Priest. Any Ancestral's Call or Muckmore for Enjoyers? I clicked that. I'm so annoyed. I meant to click that. I went too fast. That's going to be dead in my hand. <laughs> okay. No. Don't do me like that, game. That's so sad. Dude, it's another big priest. And he insta-picked and then greeted me. So I think I die. What do you guys think? Ready to get a uh, coin Shadow Essence tier? It would make the game quick. Wouldn't waste any time with this dead hand. Is he, is he emoting me? No, he's not. I haven't even muted him. Oh, he just... Okay, he didn't hit it, I guess. Unfortunately, I haven't hit anything either. Palm reading? Nice. I should have hero powered last turn, too. This overloads me? Oh, he hit that. Okay, that makes sense. Why didn't he coin? Oh, he couldn't coin it out because he he palm studied. He, he palm reading did. I imagine this deck will take a while to win with. I'm not looking forward to the third deck, which will be even harder to win with. <laughs> that deck has Naz Dormu as one of the minions, unironically. Surely 15. Oh, I drew two of the good cards. That's a good start. <clears throat> Get rid of these two. Make sure I actually click them this time. Alright. Hmm. No, uh... No gavel. We have turned our curse into our strength. I grant you permission to... Bro, this lets you cheat out Ancestor's Call. I don't even know that that interaction existed. Does big should like just good big shaman play this card? I could like coin this out and then have this on turn two if I had no other minion in hand. That's so funny. I've drawn both versions of the nuts. I can't do coin this into that because I have this in my hand. So I have to do this next turn into that on three. But this is a nutty curve. I didn't even realize. This should probably be in Big Shaman. I don't know. Maybe it's too much work. It's probably too much work. Like you have to have two minions and a weapon. It's probably too inconsistent. That's disgusting. Um. I really want to Earth Shock that. We have to whack twice though, so that this costs three mana. I mean, we could coin, because we're going to Ancestral on four. I guess we just coin. That's so clean. But using the weapon swing there is also kind of clean, so I don't know. It's conflicting. I'm suffering from success this game. Hopefully this hits a relevant minion. Glog or Colossus of the Moon or Runaway Blackwing. Basically anything other than Nazdormu would be ideal. Making that a five. He missed a, a damage there. Missed one damage, sir. Um, I could whack it so that Undasta can kill it, but otherwise attacking it sucks. So simply don't get Nazdormu. Nice. I guess attacking it 
kind of matters for that, but I have Ancestor's Call next turn, too. This is really good. This is the best outcome, I think. For sure. Classes of the Moon's okay, but, like, it's so slow comparatively to this. Okay. Let's make it a big glug, dude. We get the big glug, then we get the big runaway Blackwing, and then, uh... We kill two minions and win the game. Poggers? You should have used that twice. I don't know why you just wasted four damage. That four damage could have gone phase. Are we aware of that? <gasps> Ooh. What did we get? One of these two. Hmm. Oh, we got his Astalor. I'm going to set up Lethal. He doesn't have enough damage for me to be worried about it. Nice. A Glug Hungry, Glug one eat. Yeah, I think we just won this game. We had the nuts. We had Ancestral's Call, we had Gavel, and we had Muck Morpher, which is gross. I don't think Grave Strength's enough, but I didn't count. There's just, you keep missing one damage, man. You can attack twice. You, you can do it, it's allowed. You can also draw first. I mean, you can kill the Glog. Don't kill that one. That's not the right one to kill. Okay, he's just conceding. We take those, dude. This is sick. It's turn four. <laughs> I got a 2020 worth of stats and it's turn four. <laughs> we won! It's nuts! Glug deserves the final blow. <laughs> Dude, even with bad cards, Big Shaman's nutty. This card, this deck is not dead. <laughs> Maybe we should play a game with a real Big Shaman before so you guys have a scope of how good the deck is with good cards. Either way. That's two wins already, which is exciting. The, um, the third one is surely going to be even harder, but... So that was... Um, that was 12 new cards, I believe. This deck didn't have Feeling Rain. Yeah. That's another 12 cards. Very exciting. We didn't get to pull off Undasta into Glug. But we did make a 4-4 Glug on turn 3, so that's pretty exciting. Nice. Okay. Well, with the final boss, where our spells have definitely gotten worse now. Um, but... Uh, and so have our minions. Our minions have become atrocious. The first thing we must do is we must make our decks bad, but then also waste our dust. Oh. Oh, it hurts right in the chest, right in the heart. Oh, it hurts. Hard to win with every card if you don't own the cards, you know what I'm saying? We also have the Fester Root. I don't know how to spell Fester Root. Man, this card is terrible. This is an 8-mana 4-4. Four four. It summons two two twos that summon one ones, I think. Dude, it's just not. There's just not enough happening there. No way I'm crafting two of those. No shot. Alright. This is Big Shaman 3. This one, I mean, I, I have to imagine it takes more than the last deck. The last deck took two tries. They both took like three tries max. Yeah, both both decks are one and two. I'd be shocked if this deck went one and two. Let's find out. If we win with it, we'll have to figure out what, what next to make. Because this is all I have planned. Uh, is Big Shaman. <laughs> oh, also, that's 28 new cards. So, our card's done. It's no longer at 1662. And it's now at... 90. Wow. 1690. Nice. 1690. You take those. Mm, none of these cards say Gavel, Muck Morpher, or Ancestor's Call. Do we beat Pirate Rogue? Don't answer that. We don't beat Pirate Rogue. Dude, the overload is so bad. Oh, look at these cards. <laughs> look at these cards. Mm, it's beautiful. Hmm. Incredible. I do not beat that. 
but I think I probably play this. So bad. It's so bad, but I like I had to play this on four, I think, because I nothing else. I need Ura Frost Shocks, man. Frost Shock here was sick. Now well, that's why you keep the lightning bolt, I guess. Although plenty bolt plays around this, so <gasps> the naughty technology. All right, well, I guess we're doing this. We probably should have done that last turn then. Oh, then we couldn't hear power. All right, next turn we pass, and then we hope Muckmore forgets us there in five. Spoiler alert: it won't. <laughs> Maybe if we top that gavel. Or chain lightning, we have a chance. Chain lightning here is kind of sick. Never bring a sword. Chain lightning here now. And pray. Yeah, we basically have the top deck like Frost Shock or Chain Lightning here. Certainly not Faceless Behemoth. Uh, none of our minions do anything, so we're just dead. Okay, that was a good game. <laughs> None of our minions have taunt or do anything proactive. <laughs> this is the ultimate challenge. My goodness. This card doesn't even have text. So it's just going to be a 4-4 do nothing. <laughs> oh, disastrous. Oh, no, 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 no. Hmm. All of these cards suck. Job done. Oh, incredible. Maybe he'll rat me. Because he's a Reno duck. You know? Maybe he'll rat me and then panic and coin out removal. Any believers? The citadel stands strong. Overload, then we can't draw on four. I think we're drawn on four, hoping for some muck morphers. Unfortunately, the only two minions that do something off muck morpher we've already drawn. So muck morpher is going to be a four four do nothing half of the time, or three fourths of the time. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Seems kind of bad. Well, we drew the only other minion that did something, so now our Muck Morpher is a 4-4 four four that does nothing, which is exceptional. How do we win this game exactly? Does this value get there against a Renathal or a Reno DK deck? I think not. Maybe Trogzor ends it. Maybe Trogzor ends it. I say as I lose on a spot to a Plague Strike. I can do that. Let's go. The faceless behemoth is in. 
We got action. Seven, we have minions. Eight, we have minions. Next turn, I don't know what we're doing. Anything but this and this, I guess. I can be there. Nice. Do we just concede? Heck is so bad. I have to cheat on a minion with it, so that's just call, I think, to win. Or I have to muck more for another one of the two good minions. Hmm. Sated Threshadon actually ends it, guys. Compliments. compliments of the chef, yes. Suddenly this guy's the most aggro duck on the planet? What's going on here? What's, what's up with that? Surely he trades everything in that order into my Sated Threshadon out of pure terror. Hmm. I don't run any AoE in this deck. So suddenly this rude plan of him smorking me is actually going to work. Hmm. Alright. I don't know that that does enough, to be honest. These minions are too slow. And I have no good way to kill these spider tanks to stop Trogzor from being traded into. Possessive fire not undead. That makes sense. He's a human. Ugh, you gotta trade it, and that'd have been really gross. But you're just going all face, dude. You're not messing around. Ooh. Trogzor enjoyers? Surely that ends it, dude. He has no answer, and the Trogzor literally kills him. It's that simple. I make so many burly rock jugs because he thinks he has lethal, and then he's one off. And then suddenly I have a board of four Trog... Four, what are they called? Burly rock jaw Trog... Is that really just... That guy's a non-even deck, and he just do the nuts. Not that I had any chance anyway. Hate that card, Sylvanas. That's like it's it's kind of fair because it promotes playing on the board, but a six mana five five mind control is kind of nutty. It's kind of too good. Hmm. Warrior? Are we playing a Maestro Rogue? What's more dead, Maestro Rogue or Warrior? About to find out, I guess. Oh, bro, it's... Pirate warrior? Really? Well, that's not good. <clears throat> I don't think we can beat that. Wow. That's a nutty curve. Someone's gotta lead the I'm versing a Ray the Docks. Oh, and he's high rolling. Look at him go. Um, hmm. Yeah. Surely being 12 life down on turn 3 is not a problem. He's going to pass, and we're going to barely be ahead with our whole turn next turn. 
and then our muck morpher is going to hit trogzor or fester root and it's going to actually matter i have no idea how it's going to matter against a pirate warrior but it could it could matter Boom. All right. Increased our chances of hitting something that matters. You'll have to see it. <laughs> Any chance he wants a rat in his pirate warrior deck? <laughs> I think we're going to need help to win games. I think they're going to have to help us. I don't think we're going to get there on our end. Just a, just a thought. Just a hypothesis I'm cooking up. Oh my gosh, you discovered that as Raid the Docks? Real? That's illegal. That's so illegal. Maybe he won't think. I mean, he doesn't have any spells in his deck, so what's it matter? It's just dead. Not even Living Monument feels bad, man. We've already won with Living Monument, so we're trying to win a game with Faceless Behemoth. This world is cruel. We live in a cruel world. Or I have to play Faceless Behemoth in my deck. <laughs> oh, disastrous. Just horrible. No, don't do that. That's really, really bad. Am I just dead? Basically. Oh, he traded. That's kind of nice of him. Oh, I am dead. He's Miss Lethal, right? I mean, sometimes he Miss Lethal anyway. Go whack the fourth. Lead. Yeah, I think he missed lethal, guys. Look at that thrush it on. The nuts. Oh. I'd be happy. If I won, in less than 15 games, I'd be happy. Dude, I need a, I need a, I need a dirty rat. That's my one con. It's my opponent, dirty rat. It's my faceless behemoth out of my hand. <gasps> the nuts. It's a few too many gavels. We don't want to sell that many products. <clears throat> we get a turn three ten ten. Does that one Hearthstone games in twenty twenty two? I kind of think it doesn't, but we're going to find out. I need him to attack. I need him to have a weak turn, and I need my 10-10 to get me there. If he plays, like, a card, and I'm sad. That card's fine. No, are you serious? Okay. Um, I guess we have to win Sester's Call next turn. Maybe we can get a Fester Root this turn. That's not quite what I want. Delaying my 10 10 a turn seems atrocious. That's so bad. Was I supposed to risk it there for the high roll? That feels bad too, but. That is such a bad draw. Maybe I just cut Muck Morpher, huh? <gasps> Dude, no, Muck Morpher's insane. Muck Morpher was so five. <laughs> Muck Morpher was nuts. Now he doesn't have an asphyxiate. 
<laughs> Welcome to the battlefield, faceless behemoth. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I bet you wish you had an asphyx asphyxiate, brother. <laughs> Whew. That's the W. Surely this hits face three times, right? That's never a asphyxiate right there. Literally never. Literally, literally, literally never. Oh. <laughs> Why? Why is this world so cruel? Why do you have two asphyxiates against Shaman? <laughs> oh. This is a disaster. <laughs> This is a disaster. Uh, uh, that was such a clean 10 drop, dude. He asphyxiated my 4 4. I get my 10 drop. And then he just. Oh my goodness, that's so disastrous. <laughs> that felt like a real chance. Maybe against. Pillager Rogue, we can pull out a Behemoth and pull out a Scab, and they can, like, just lose. Surely that'll work, right? <clears throat> it's Lightning Bolts, huh? Those are really bad. Why is there Overload on those? <gasps> Dude, it's happening. We're turn three faceless behemothing. Hopefully, it wins me the game. That's what it's all cut out for, right? Oh, it's Pirate Rogue. Um, I'm not convinced that a 10-10 on turn three wins the game against Pirate Rogue, unfortunately. But if he plays weapon here and no minions, it might. He'd have to play no 3-3s, three though. If he plays any 3-3s, three I just lose. Pass. Blood and Brutal. No, stop. Stop playing cards. Uh, well, let's get it out there. <laughs> why why man why can't a man just incestuous call out a 10 10 is it that difficult is it that much to ask for <laughs> I keep high rolling and then my opponents high roll harder that's so rude <laughs> Oh my goodness, no way three times in a row Ancestors calling out a 10-10 backfire is that hard. This is the game. This is the one we win. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to do it by golly. <gasps> the nutty 50-50 angle. Are we any nutty 50-50 enjoyers? Dude, I just like can never be big priest with this deck. That's so sad.
<gasps> Dude, I just want uninterrupted 1010. This is the game. This is the one where my 1010 gets me there. We follow it up with Muck Morpher. Dude, imagine this was Trogzor. Oh my gosh, it'd be so good. He picked kind of fast. Okay, well, I'm glad it wasn't Trogzor, I guess. Why did we... Did he mean to... Oh, he, he, he did this. He meant to trade it. That's so funny. He meant to trade for his Illuminate. That's really funny. <gasps> Dude, I hit the Trog. If he has to, like, play spells that don't kill it, I get three fives that grow. Surely we don't insta-lose here to pre-spells. That would never happen. <gasps> it's happening. <gasps> it's happening. <gasps> What? Dude! Let's go! That was like the fifth game! No way! Trogzor! Let's go! Dude, look at that board! Look at it back there! Oh! Oh, oh it's amazing! Oh, let's go, dude. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. I can't believe that just happened. The clean turn four, one in three behemoth into the one in whatever it was, Trogzor, and to play a bunch of spells for no reason and to die. Oh. Oh. That makes up for all the times I got scammed, I guess. That was beautiful. How many new cards is that? That's 11 more new cards. So we go from sick dude. You were here. You were here for when we entered into 1700 cards. 1701. You were here. Let's go. That's pretty exciting. Wow, so we won with three Big Shaman decks. That's so many things that we've just won with. I did not think Big Shaman... Like, I knew Big Shaman was nuts. I didn't know it was that good. Before I build a new deck, I'm going to show you all what, like, potentially Tier 1 Big Shaman looks like. Because uh, those are really bad in comparison. This is what actual Big Shaman looks like. <laughs> the the core of the deck is still Gavel into Muck Morpher and Ancestral's Call. But the minions are so much better. And the spells are so much better. Schooling's sick. All right, while we play one game of this, so you guys can see it and be amazed at how not dead this deck is, let's brainstorm what we want to do next. Shall we? So, our spreadsheet. Yes. Um, Shaman. We got a lot of cards to mark off, huh? Like, a lot of cards. Like, all of those? Reincarnate? Ancestor's Call? Dude, this is a lot of cards. Healing Wave? Maelstrom Portal? It's a beautiful sight watching the greens show up. Ooh, we got the Ancestral's Call. That's really sick. Now we just need a big minion. And we get the job done. Ooh, I didn't need that many big minions. I just needed one. I'll take it, though. The pleasure is mine. The pleasure is mine. Hmm. Never bring a sword to a fish fight. Yeah. 
Well, I didn't need all of my minions, but, uh... We do have Ancestor's Call, so we might be okay. In hindsight, I should have kept schooling. Schooling would have been kind of sick here. I was just worried I wouldn't have enough mana before I played this, and this level 1 went in my hand. <gasps> okay, well, his weapon is a 2 tech. That's just silly. Ooh, that's sick. Ooh, we don't want to draw that next turn, which sucks. Oh, that's a bummer, actually. We have to. We want to call next turn. We could take it and just high roll and then have a five drop. This is actually kind of hard. Like, next turn, we get one of these out. Then on turn five, you muck morpher. But if your ancestral is called the muck morpher, you can see it on the spot. Hey, at least it's exciting if I do that. I actually think it's correct. Neither of these cards are very good. And, uh... Maybe Gavel was fine. Is he trading? Blood and wow. Mm. Alright, well, 75% chance to, like, win the game. Ah, that could have been better. That was not the worst minion, but it was the second worst minion. Next turn, we've got another Muck Morpher, so I think we should be okay. Especially because this is just so good. Yeah, that's a problem. Hopefully, we hit um, Stoneborn, I guess. We can trade and then trade. I don't know. This is actually kind of bad. He's only got five damage in play after this trade, but we're at a 14. Oh, we have healing range. Beautiful. If we don't die this turn, we're chilling. Stoneborn? Okay. Yeah, we're big chilling. We're big chilling. This is what Big Simon's supposed to look like. <laughs> you just kind of win. We got this on six and this on seven. If we don't die this turn, I think we can't lose. Although, oh, this could heal a lot of, take a lot of my healing. <clears throat> I'll probably trade them first, honestly. Heal for 12 and then... Eh, maybe not. Depends what he does. So you're gonna pick the same non uh, non pirate as last time. Wow. This this robot is not very uh. It's not very chilling. It's not very online, if you ask me. We're supposed to figure out what we're playing after this, and instead we're just winning with Big Shaman. <laughs> instead we're just rolling with Big Shaman, dude. I think we do this. Oh, I should have ancestral spirits. That that was dumb. I actually really regret that play. That was bad. I should have taken the free. Uh... Should have taken the free 8-8. That was dumb. It just like so doesn't matter. We just glug next turn and we're chilling. That didn't heal me as much as I would have liked, but it should be fine. Pirates away! Pirates away! Cool. Cool. Mm, any glug enjoyers? Um. Nice. Um, what else did I win with? Oh, wrong button. I don't imagine he's going to do anything that prevents himself from dying.
Give me that. Hey, look, he didn't do anything that stopped himself from dying. He made a 1618 glug. That's beautiful. Big Shaman's a heck of a deck, man. This deck might unironically be like high tier two. But yeah, that was our Big Shaman. That's Big Shaman, as well as winning with every Hearthstone card's version of bad Big Shaman. For those watching the YouTube VOD, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.